There's a growing epidemic in our country. It doesn't grab newspaper headlines or make the evening news, but it's there, and it is debilitating and potentially deadly. It is the epidemic of autoimmune disease. Autoimmune diseases are among the most prevalent forms of chronic illness in this country, now affecting an estimated 23.5 million Americans. More people suffer from this group of chronic illnesses than from cancer or heart disease, yet most people don't even know what these conditions are. This lack of awareness is killing us, literally. It's causing severe pain, disability, and even death. Worse yet, many people with autoimmune conditions suffer with their symptoms because conventional doctors either can't figure out what's wrong or can't get to the root of the problem. The answer is functional medicine, a medical specialty that has come of age in the past 10 years and focuses on reversing these chronic conditions. Hope is here. Why a book on autoimmune disease? There are more than 100 different autoimmune conditions, and they are all serious chronic diseases caused by an underlying problem in the immune system. This book is a call to alarm. These diseases are reversible and curable if caught early, before they progress and cause severe pain, disability, and even death. The first symptoms might be vague feelings of fatigue, muscle or joint pain, or a nagging feeling that something isn't right. With simple blood tests, you can be diagnosed at this early stage. And then, by following the steps in this book, your immune system can be brought back into balance before irreversible damage is done to your brain, joints, thyroid, blood vessels, and other vital organs. If you have been suffering from an autoimmune condition for some time, and you have already experienced some tissue damage, this book will help you feel better in general, tell you how you can actually reverse the effects of the disease, and help prevent your specific tissue damage from getting worse. As a doctor, I have long been aware of autoimmune conditions such as Graves' disease, rheumatoid arthritis, RA, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, MS, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, psoriasis, alopecia areata, vitiligo, Sjogren's syndrome, and scleroderma, among others. But when I was diagnosed with one of these illnesses, it changed both my personal and professional lives forever. My Story Before I go any further, let me introduce myself the way I would if you were one of the patients in my office. I'm Dr. Susan Blum, a board-certified physician in preventive medicine and an assistant clinical professor in the Department of Preventative Medicine at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City. I am also the founder of Blum Center for Health in Rybrook, New York. In medical school, I started down the road of traditional medicine. Then during my internal medicine residency, I quickly realized that I didn't want to focus just on illness or disease. I wanted to focus on preventing those conditions in the first place. But back then, preventive medicine consisted mostly of screening tests and public health programs, it wasn't part of a doctor's everyday practice. Physicians just weren't given the tools in medical school to help their patients change their behavior, such as how to get people to eat healthfully or reduce stress. I knew I had to take a different route as a doctor. So I sought training from institutions that were considered outside the box at the time. In particular, I was interested in the relationship between stress, nutrition, and illness. I moved off the beaten path of traditional medicine toward a more holistic approach and into an emerging field called functional medicine. First, I completed a program at the Center for Mind-Body Medicine in Washington, D.C., where I learned tools for stress management and methods to reverse the effects of stress on the body. Then, at the Institute for Functional Medicine, I learned how food affects these processes, either promoting health or causing diseases. When I started applying what I had learned about stress management and nutrition in my own practice, I saw firsthand how these methods helped people to prevent and actually reverse chronic diseases. These two ideas.